Okay, I'm going to do a um, quick little lesson, just three minus on triangles. Two things. All triangles are 180 degrees. When you add up the three interior angles, it equals 180 degrees. So that's what we're doing most of the time in here. Some of it is, is very easy. Some of it might be a little confusing. So let's just look at this. Here they just give you a triangle, 35 degrees this angle, this angle is 95, and this one's x. You've got to find x. Well, we know that all three of these have to add up to 180. So all we do is 35 plus 95 plus x. We're going to add up all three of them, and that's going to be 180 degrees. Okay? Now, you can do this one of two ways. You can add both of these together... And then this just gives me 130 plus x equals 180. Subtract 130 from both sides. I know, we still get to do algebra. They cancel out. x equals 50. Okay? Pretty straightforward. We're just looking for x. So we got to remember that all three of these add up to 180. So they may not give it this way. They may just write it out. They may say we have an angle that's 35 degrees, an angle that's 95 degrees. What's the third angle? So instead of putting them in a triangle, they may just put you have angle A is 35, angle B is 95. What is angle C? Or what is the third angle? They can label them anything they want. So very straightforward. Same thing here. Only thing here is they're telling you it's a right triangle. So that's our clue. Once they say a right triangle, we know one of the angles is 90 degrees. Then they're telling us the other one is 25 degrees. So what is the third one? So we know when we add them all up, equals 180. Now, if you want to do 180 minus 90 is 90, 90 minus 25 is 65, any way you want to do it. If you want to put these together, do 115 and then subtract from both sides. The main thing here is you want to remember that the three angles have to add up to 180. Here is just another way of doing this. That's what I wrote up here. So if they tell you that if find, all this is saying, find angle A in triangle ABC. And all that means is they took the triangle and they label it A, B, C. They just didn't draw the picture up for you. Remember, this is what that means. That means triangle. So find the angle A in triangle ABC. If angle B is 38 and angle C is 42, they did the exact same thing here. They put these two together. You just add these two, subtract them from 180, and you're good to go. All right, here's one of the things we had trouble with when we did um, when we did our triangles before, was identify the triangle. Remember, it's gotta have two names. The type of angles and the type of sides. So, when you look at this, you see an acute angle here, an acute angle here, this is my obtuse angle. If it was a right angle, they'd have the little square there for you. So we know that's obtuse. So once we figure out the type, then we just write that in. Then we look at the sides. Since there's no tick marks on this, that's telling us that none of the sides are the same. So that would be a scalene. This was one of the things we did wrong before. Is we, we did only name it one way. So we got to be careful with that. All right, that's hopefully very straightforward. I have one other thing that I want to do here. Um, give me a second. And this is, we did pretty well with this as, a, as, as all my classes. You guys did a real nice job with this. So... Let me take this down for a second. And we're going to put this one up blank. <clears throat> we're going to do the same exact thing 
finding the measure of an angle. But what they'll do here is they may do it this way. This is x, this is 2x, and then this one here, they may give you a number, 30. Okay? So remember, we've got an x plus 2x plus 30 equals 180. Remember, here's the thing we got to remember. Oops, let me put this over here. Sorry about that. So they give us x, 2x, and 30 degrees. So we just write it down. x plus 2x plus 30 equals 180. Remember, this is 1 here. There's a 1 here. So now we have like terms. So we have 3x plus 30 equals 180. Now it's our favorite two-step equations. Subtract 30 from both sides. Got to get myself a bigger whiteboard here. So. We subtract 30 from both sides. Cancels out, brings this down, 3x equals 150, divide by 3, divide by 3, x equals 50. Okay? So again, the main thing here is we got to remember is they add up to 180 degrees. One other one, same concept, just the only difference here is there's not going to be any degrees. So if I take this, so I can do the same thing. I did this, put this as a right, I do this as x, x, and then 90, we would just add that in. x plus x plus 90, so it would be 2x plus 90. x plus x plus 90. So then it's 2x plus 90, and we gotta remember, it's always triangles. The three angles always equals 180. All right? So that should help you get through your lesson for tomorrow. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, right now, I'm trying to set up some times with Google Meets. Uh, I know some of the teachers have classes all day, so I, I'll probably send something out in the morning once uh, after I uh, meet with the teachers tomorrow find out what times are available so we're not stepping on other people's toes. And I'm just going to do like a 10-15 minute thing. If you have any questions on this or the other angles, uh, if I don't find a time tomorrow, definitely Wednesday, I will put it in. Uh, by then you'll have, uh, you'll have this and I'll also make sure that you have the circumference before our meetings. So if you have any questions on angles, triangles, or circumference before the quiz, We'll have a little Google Meets. We can ask questions then. All right, have a good night. Bye.